welcome to your English news broadcast live on Air TV. It's exactly 10.30 p.m. on Airtrace local time from our headquarters at Asmara. With your domestic and international in brief, I'm Zahra Badouri, but first we'll begin with your major headlines for this broadcast. <music> President Isayas met and held talks with China's special envoy. <music> Commandable health services provision and more. On your international, uh, P4 Plus announces pause in Vienna, talks on Jacopo revival. China expresses serious concerns over the violent law enforcement in the United States and more. On your, domestic, on your primary domestic, President Isias of Work, met and held talks at State House in the morning hours of today, 12th March, with the Special Envoy of the People's Republic of China to the Horn of Africa, Ambassador Shui Beng. At uh, the meeting, President Isias of Work, underlined Eritrea's approaching for the conservative role of China, constructive uh, role of China in blustering uh, the uh, ongoing endeavors by the Horn of African countries for regional integration. Regarding international issues, President Isias expressed Eritrea's support to the proposal of China for the Horn of Africa summit in the first half of this year and emphasized China's indispensable role in the maintenance of crucial balance. President Isias also elaborated Eritrea's development uh, pro projects for the period ahead. Ambassador Shui Beng, on his, pa and on his part, underlined uh, China's readiness uh, to deepen bilateral ties with Eritrea as well as to promote regional security development and good governance. Ambassador Shui also underscored Eritrea's vital role in China's earnest initiative for peace and stability in the Horn of Africa. The meeting was attended uh, by uh, Mr. Mr. Osman Saleh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Presidential Advisor Mr. Iman Gabrab, and Mr. Hagos Gabrihuat, Head of the Economic Affairs of the PFDJ, as well as uh, Mr. Chai Ji, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Eritrea. The Department of uh, Internal Disease uh, Treatment uh, at Orota National Referral Hospital is providing commandable health services, according uh, to Dr. Goitom Hagos, head of the department, indicating uh, that Department of Internal Diseases Treatment provides emergency OPD and IPD as well as kidney treatment services, stated uh, that in the year 2021, over 33,000 patients have been given outpatient health services and about 15,000 were admitted to the hospital. Of these, 89% were provided emergency services and 8.6% were in Patient, were in patients. Uh, Dr. Goitom further indicated that 26% of the patients who were repeatedly admitted to the department had uh, respiratory, cardiovascular, as well as cancer and uh, digestive system problems. Uh, he added uh, that uh, the department has in recent years acquired modern diagnostic and surgical equipment for treatment of cardiovascular, respiratory, and other chronic diseases. Dr. Goitom uh, finally stated uh, that students of various fields of med medicine at the Oroto School of Medicine are gaining both uh, theoretical and practical knowledge at the hospital currently. On your proceeding domestic elections of area administrators and managing directors as well as village coordinators was conducted in uh, Sheb uh, subzone, northern Red Sea region. At the elections conducted from 28th February to 9th March in the administrative area of northern and southern um, and Sheb, Gadgad, Wokiro, uh, Tukhul, Wadilo, Shalshala, and Kilo, uh, 16 areas administrators, administrators and managing directors, including seven females, were elected. The newly elected area administrators and managing directors expressed conviction to live up to expectations of the people that elected them in providing efficient and timely administration. The administrator of the subzone, Mr. Abu Bakr Ibrahim, on his part, said that prior to the election proceeded, 
processes, sustainable awareness rising activities have been conducted and commanded the participation of the public to strong participation demonstrated during the election processes. On your final domestic, one patient has been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 and tests carried out today at testing stations in the Ansaba region as your final domestic and health report. Accordingly, the total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased uh, to 9,721. The total number of recovered patients stands at 9,616, while the number of deaths stands at 103. Ministry of Health, Asmara, 12th March, 2022. We'll be back with your international and global reports after this short break. Do stay with us for more. And on your global report, Iran and the P4 Plus group of countries have announced a pause in the Vienna talks on a possible revival of the 2015 Iran deal with Tehran, saying that all relevant parties will concentrate on a, in quotation, successful conclusion of the diplomatic process. The cause was first announced in a tweet on Friday by the European Union's foreign policy ch chef, uh, chief, uh, Joseph Borrell, who was in the break was need that was needed due to the what he called external factors. In quotation, a final text is essentially ready and on the table, Borrell said, and adding that he and his team will be in contact with all the five parties to the 2015 deal officially called the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action and uh, the use uh, to overcome the current situation and to close the agreement in quotation. Replying uh, to Borrell's tweet uh, shortly, shortly afterwards, Iran Foreign Minister Spokesman Saeed uh, Katvizda said uh, the pause in the Vienna in the Vienna talks could provide a momentum for resolving any remaining issues and a final return to the negotiation. He, ha he ho however, said no external factors can affect the parties' joint will to go forward for a collective agreement. Following the announcement, Iran's uh, chief negotiator, Ali Bakri Khani, left Vienna for Tehran. However, Iran's foreign minister deal at, a, at hand if U.S. adopts realistic approaches in return. Iran foreign minister Hussein Amir Abdullahian also said in a tweet on Friday that he had held useful and constructive talks with Burrell and that efforts were underway for achieving a good, strong and lasting agreement. China expresses serious concerns over the violent law enforcement and police brutality in United States at the 49th session of the Human Rights Council on Friday at Geneva. Chinese uh, representative uh, made uh, the statement uh, to the spe special rapporteur on, uh, to on tour and other cruel, inhumane or degrading treatments or punishments of the United Nations. Violent law enforcement by the police in the U.S. has caused numerous tragedies, with the last 1,124 falling to victims uh, to the police brutality in 2021 alone, said the Chinese representative. It is reported uh, that within the year after George Floyd uh, due, died uh, due to ex excessive police violent uh, treatment in May 2020, American law enforcement for officers have killed hundreds of ethnic minorities across the country. Torture in uh, torture in humane uh, treatment and violence uh, in violent incidents uh, are frequent in various detention facilities including private prisons in throughout the United States and uh, the systematical abuse and cruelty on uh, com convicts in Guantanamo Bay detention camps in even more notorious according uh, to reports. China appealed uh, the special rapporteur to attach greater attentions and to attract greater attentions uh, to similar human right, rights violations in the United States and urged the U.S. to 
to certify relevant wrongdoings by compiling with law and rules in protecting uh, dignity and human rights all human eth- to all human ethnicities. On your final report, a Pakistani military spokesman told a news conference on Thursday evening, March 10th, that a high-speed flying object originating from uh, northern India, city of uh, Sarsa, had crashed in eastern Pakistan. Major General Babar, uh, Babar Iftikhar said uh, that the flight path of the object in- endangered many national and international passenger flights, both in India and Pakistani airspace, as well as human life and property on ground. India said on Friday it had specially fired a missile into Pakistan this week because of technical malfunctions during a routine maintenance, giving its vision uh, of ev- vis- version of events after Pakistan summoned India envoy to protest. A Pakistani Air Force's official said uh, the uh, object flying at 40,000 feet and three times the speed of sound had flown 124 kilometers, equaling to 77 miles in Pakistani airspace. Pakistani officials said the missile was unarmed and had crashed nearly near the country's eastern city of uh, Manchanu, about 500 kilometers, 310 miles from capital Islamabad. Pakistan's foreign office uh, summoned India's charge and charged the affairs in the Islamabad to lodge a protest over what it called an un provoked violation of its airspace, saying the incident could have endangered passengers and passenger flights and civilian lives. Iftikhar says, uh, in quotation, Pakistan strongly protests this flagrant uh, violation and cautions against recurrence of any such incident in the future. Military experts have in the past warned of the risk of accidents or miscalculations by the nuclear-armed neighbors, which have fought three wars and engaged in numerous similar and similar arms armed clashes, usually over the dispute of territory of Kashmir. Tensions have eased in recent months, and the incident, which may have been in the first of its kind, immediately raised questions about safety mechanisms. Dear viewers, that is all for now with your domestic and international news in brief. Until we are back with some more news, stay and enjoy the rest of our programs. But until then, these are your major headlines for this broadcast in review. President Isas met and held talks with Chinese Special Envoy. Commandable Health Services provision and more. P4 plus countries announced pauses in Vienna talks on uh, Jacopo revival. China expresses serious concerns over the violent law enforcement in uh, the United States and more. That is all for us here at the Capitol and our headquarters at Asmara. That is all for now. Enjoy the rest of our programs and have a nice week.